Welcome everyone to access a stolen iPhone. This is for people who had their iPhone stolen, not they stole someone's iPhone. I'll cover it if you did steal someone's iPhone, what you could do. But if you have had your iPhone stolen on another device, which you have access to, regardless of the operating system, you want to head over to this website, iCloud.com. And on this website, it will ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. So you will need to enter the Apple ID and password for the same device which was stolen. Okay, so mine is the Mr. Saunders Tech at iCloud.com, and that is the same Apple ID as the iPhone which was stolen. Okay. Once you have entered this information in, you're going to scroll all the way down and you're looking for this, the Find My. So let's tap on the Find My here. And I'm going to pause because it will show my address. Once the Find My loads up, you can see all of your devices. And so if it's a green tick, that means the device is on and available. If it is a gray, then that means the device is offline. iPhone has a feature where it can still track the location even while it's offline. But if a thief is smart, they'll put the uh, iPhone in tin foil so that none of the signals can get out. Hopefully, the thief isn't smart. So just select your device. After selecting your device above where I'm covering, it should show the current location of the iPhone. And if you know the location, you can go get it, right? But let's say the device is grayed out or, you know, you just don't trust the area. You don't want to go in and confront the thief. You have the loss mode and the loss mode will show a custom message that you can place like, hey, contact me on this phone number, for example, and hopefully the thief will contact you. Uh, on top of this, you can remotely erase the iPhone. This is if you just come back like a day after if the iPhone is gray and if it stays gray, you can just remotely erase the device. But just remember, if you have a good passcode, no one's going to be getting in. And you can also play sound. Um, playing the sound will make your iPhone, you know, vibrate and play a large sound, which will be very loud. Uh, that's really only useful if you lose your iPhone in your house. But if you put loss mode on and then started to play sounds, maybe that could help get your iPhone back. Okay. Also, if you do see the green, you could uh, contact the police if your iPhone is stolen or like the cops, whatever they call it in other countries, and just say, hey, my iPhone's stolen. Here is the location. Can you go help? And typically they actually will. So that is something to keep in mind. And with that being said, if you did steal an iPhone, as far as actually using the device goes, Apple security is very strong. So if you try to factory reset the iPhone, it will lock you out entirely. It will ask for the old owner's Apple ID and password. So if you do have a stolen iPhone, you can only really sell it for parts, like very cheap on eBay. You can't use it. You can't access anything from it, which is good. I mean, if my phone was stolen, I don't want someone using it. I remember Amazon employees stole my phone. They locked that one out immediately. So with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.